This tutorial was brought to you thanks to the supporters on the screen. Check out tapjiles.com to find more Dreams resources, donate to support my work, or engage my services to get private instruction or help on a project one on one. Yeah, I wanted to do a tutorial about different logic things you can do as shortcuts with different gadgets. So, for example, there's a follower gadget. So, most of these require it to be affecting a sculpt or a group. So, we wire that up, and now that follower is trying to affect that group and make it follow some tag or something. So, now if we make a tag and we give it a name, and we can go into the follower and have it look for that name and now it'll move towards that tag but um, here we're not actually going to use it for that stuff so we can make the strength damping and speed to zero and it won't actually affect this in any way and then we can use these outputs so the one is the found target while this is open you might notice everything goes green in the background this is actually because you're seeing a zone that it's looking for around the um, around the gadget position or around the object position that it's affecting. So it can only find tags within that zone. And if we make that a little larger, you can see at a certain point, the tag becomes black. That's because it's being detected by a zone. So then it sends out a signal from here. So if we just tap that to make it in part of the scene, drag this in here and then it will remember that this is the position. And then we can put that output into a value slider and now we can uh, if we have that tweaked you can see the uh, position so you can see it's gone to zero because it's not uh, being covered by this zone but when it gets to a certain point then it's it's um, being detected so it's on uh, it's sending out a one and with uh, this follower so that's similar to a trigger zone uh, it does the same thing for a trigger zone uh, but you can do it with a follower and you can do a minimum distance also so it means if this one if it's within the outer one but also within the minimum distance one that means it won't be used as a target so if we make it engulfed by that now it goes to zero again so now we've got a trigger zone but it has a hole in the middle that it won't detect the tags for and you can use that just like a trigger zone so as we sh as we saw that gives this tag output but also it has this found target as well so if we um, put that into a switch so we can see it and then we reduce the inner hole now it detects it again so it's sending a signal and then if we reduce the out outside one it goes off again because we're not detecting it anymore. There's also a target position output. So if we get a splitter and we put that into there, we can see it gives the gives a three part value through this fat wire. And then we can put that through some value sliders so we can actually read the value. So now we can actually get the X, Y and Z position within the scene of the tag that it's detecting. And we can move it around you can see it changing live where that is and that's without using a um, like a wireless um, communication from the tags position to a receiver on the box or something like that it just works when it detects the tag it just knows where it is so that's like a shortcut for finding the um, position and whether it's detecting and all that another cool thing is if there are two of these tags and they're both within the zone it will only detect and find and use for the output the closest one to the um, actual follower position so if I move to the follower position to closer to this tag now that tag knows it's been detected and this one doesn't and it will output the position of that that tag if I move that one and moving this one doesn't change those values and then if it's closer to this one only that tag knows it's been detected and so only sends a signal out from it if it's the closest to the follower dot 
this means you can use it to kind of activate logic because this knows it's the closest to this follower thingy, this follower zone. So you can find the closest object to wherever you're hovering over or something like that, or the closest button you can press with your character and things like that. You can do similar things with a with a look at rotator. So if we have that look for the same tag and we wire it up, then it's going to try and rotate to look at the position. But if we give that zero strength, damping and speed, then it won't actually do anything. But we can use it to get similar outputs. And it's got this zone as well. So if we make that smaller, and we tweak that so we can see the position of the tag, then we can see as the look at rotator gets to the tag position, it's found it and it's sending a signal from the tag as well. And then if we make that hole bigger, then it will lose it again. So it works just the same like that. And you can get uh, the target position just as before. Uh, but also you can get a scene space direction, which means uh, within the scene itself, from the position of the the center of the object this is affecting, if there's a found target tag position thing, uh, what direction is that? Uh, so this would be like over there would be the direction. So what, what does over there mean for this particular case? Plug that in there. And now we have like the relative position moving towards this. This is actually normalized, so that means that this, um, the length of this vector, as in that if you draw a line from there to in, in that direction towards that position relative to there, then that will actually just be one. So it's like a proper direction. It doesn't matter about how far it is at all. It's just saying the direction something is in. So that's a useful way of finding out the direction from a, a position to another position, just using a lookout rotator. But with this, you can't move the original dot. You can only you can only like adjust the zone. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. Go to patreoncom tapgiles to get five hours of tutorials early for three dollars. Here's a preview of what you can learn if you choose to become a supporter.